when it comes to ISIS fighters do nothing, reintegrate, prosecute them at home or in Syria? The options are many and overwhelming. Certainties are few and the stakes, of course, are enormous. I put some questions to Stephen Tankel. He's a professor at American University focused on international studies. It seems as though there are two sides. One, let them rot over there. The other, let's reintegrate them. They need to get home right now. Uh, is there something in the middle? What is the wisest avenue? Uh, there is something in the middle, and different states have taken different approaches. It's no secret that a lot of European countries would prefer that foreign fighters not return home. But at the same time, that's not always an option for them, not least because some of the countries where they're being held don't want to keep them. And in some instances, they're being held by governments uh, where they would receive the death penalty and European countries are opposed to the death penalty. So for a whole host of reasons, letting them rot over there is not an option. People have radicalized, people have gone to fight or to live in Syria and Iraq for different reasons. There's no one size fits all reason for why people go. And so there's no one size fits all solution in terms of what you do with them now that, that the fighting's you know sort of reduced and they've been captured. Why not leave these people where they are in whatever camps they're in, whatever prisons they're in, and let the authorities, wherever they may be, where they went to inflict pain or carnage, deal with them. If that means they're killed, then they're killed. You know, if that means they're held for life, they're held for life. Uh, there's the question of uh, what if these countries don't want to keep them and they boot them out and these people make their way back to European countries. And now they're making their way back outside of the, uh, the awareness of security services. Um, and you've lost an opportunity potentially to reintegrate them uh, rather than bringing them back and either reintegrating them or incarcerating them if they should be uh, incarcerated. Mm -hmm. Third, in, in some of the places where they are being left, um, you know, those are, are countries that are going to treat uh, these individuals in ways that, for example, European states uh, would perceive as human rights violations. What is the U.S.? What are some of these European countries doing? Uh, I believe some are probably a little more advanced in the process than others. Several countries already have reintegration uh, processes in place. Uh, Netherlands, Finland, Denmark, and I think Sweden. What are they doing? Uh, there are various methods um, moving them into uh, facilities that in some cases are akin to halfway houses where they're receiving different types of counseling uh, and, you know, ongoing interviews to determine whether or not that they're a threat and what led them to become radicalized, you know, research to become what led them to become radicalized. For those who think we should leave some of these people either in prison here in the U.S. or in these European countries or wherever they happen to be in the Mideast right now, if there's a potential that they could become even more radicalized in the future and come back to haunt us. Absolutely. And I'm glad you asked that question, because reintegration is not going to be for everybody. There are some people who are going to have to be incarcerated, in some cases, for life. Um, but in other cases, you have individuals who may have gone for all sorts of reasons that are perhaps less ideological. They went because their friends went. They went because they were young and they went for the romance of it, what have you. And rather than reintegrating them, if you throw them into prisons, yes, those can become hotbeds for radicalization where you go in, uh, you know, perhaps enamored with the cause and you come out much more committed to the cause. And so for those individuals, reintegration, if done properly, can be a better solution. Again, not for everybody. This is not a one size fits all problem. Can't have a one size fits all solution.